The Underground Train by Mary Quattlebaum, illustrated by Kat Bowman Smith, read and narrated by Miss Lewis Morasco. The moving stairs rolls down, down, down to the underground train, which rushes past like fast water on miles of track. Vroom. What are the moving stairs called? Where do you think these people are going? I grip my fare and mama grips my hand as a train door slip aside like silver drapes. We step inside, the doors slide shut. Vroom, whoosh. The train starts slow and picks up speed. I choose an orange seat and watch the tunnel blurring by like a long black night. Vroom, whoosh. The train inside is filled with light. Folks clutch their bags and smile or read the news or yawn or talk. The driver calls the stop. Waterfront? Some people leave and others take their seats. Then the bell sounds once. And the bright train starts its rushing into the dark. Above the train, above my head, the busy city spreads. A map of tangled streets, sh shops, cars, buildings, flags, clocks. Wow, friends, this is our city, Washington, D.C. I can see the Lincoln Memorial, the Jefferson Memorial, the White House, the Washington Memorial, and the Capitol. Have you ever been to any of these places? Do you know who resides at the White House? Above the train, above my head, a green light turns red. The traffic halts, the people cross. And look at this. Even underneath the busy city, the underground train is still moving. Some sparrows hop in lots beside the zoo, where lions snooze, and monkeys snack on fruit where zebras shake their manes and neigh, high, high above the train. Which rolls below the skipping feet of two girls leaping, neat and fleet, through double ropes that smack the sidewalk, whackity whack. Wow, friends, these, these friends here are wearing uniforms just like you. Hmm, I wonder where they are. Some kids race by on rollerblades and napping babies wake with coos of cries as parents stroll. The place where Nana holds a bag of bread and waits for me to help her feed the geese and ducks. High, high above the city moves and shoves, skips, snacks, and waits while down below the train moves fast, fast through miles of dark until the driver halts and calls out Cleveland Park. <gasps> this is my stop. The bright doors park. We walk beside the quiet train. I pay my fare. I step and sway. Unto the stairs, which rolls us up, roll me and mama up, 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 until the sunshine streams across tangled streets. These rolling and moving stairs are called escalators. The racing kids, the waiting geese, and Nana waves to me. Before I leave, I hear the sound of something underground. Vroom, whoosh. I wonder 
what they can hear. Below the earth, below my feet, the train is gaining speed and rushing to the nearest stop where folks step on and off. Vroom, whoosh. And then it starts again, far down, down, down in the underground, below the earth, below my shoes. Did the girl and her mom reach their destination? Vroom, whoosh. The lighted train continues. So friends, who were the characters in the story? Who did they go to see? And how did they get there? There was another character we read about this week that went to go see the same person. Who was the name of that character? The end.